Hey everybody, this is Craig from The Epic Nation, here with another deck profile. Here to you, bringing you with my newest deck, my layer, <coughs> excuse me, my layer of darkness. I've uh, tested this, only tested this a few times and it seems to work uh, fine for me, but if, if any of you know, know a better way of how to structure this, then by all means. Leave down in the comments uh, your, your opinions. After all, we are one big happy nation working together to defeat the fire nation. <laughs> yeah, if you know what that's from, leave down in the comments. You get an extra cookie. <laughs> okay, okay, let's kick things off. I run two darkest Diablo, the Lord of the Lair. Honestly, I am debating whether or not I should run three and uh, put in trade in. Leave it, leave down be, down below if you know oh, what your thoughts on thoughts on that matter are. Because honestly, yeah, and needs a new. Basically, hey, if you trip summon a monster, you get to uh, special summon. Him from the, uh, what was it, the deck or hand? I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't used use, use, use these new cards cards all that much. So, so a little more more play play testing, and I'll get familiar with him. But yeah, he's the, yeah, he's the main uh, boss monster of the deck, and well, yeah, he looks awesome, and yeah. Next up, Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord. Basically, with him, you get to uh, tribute dark monsters, and he he gains 500 attack for each. Can't exactly remember what else he does. This, like I said, I just got this deck, so yeah. Yeah, let you add stuff to your hand. But the gimmick from this deck is the more dark. Layer Darkness will let you tribute your opponent's monsters. <laughs> it's a uh, spell monarch. I really need to make a monarch deck. Huh. Anywho, yeah, he's a he's a good fodder for the deck. What I've seen. Next up is is ARM the Wicked Warden. You don't actually need to play uh, terraforming in this deck because this guy searches uh, uh, searches uh, out. So not <laughs> also you can tribute this guy or uh, you can tribute a, um, a dark monster, draw one card, or if you tribute a monster other than this card, add one level five. No, no add one dark monster with two thousand of the attack and defense from your deck to your hand. <laughs> It's really good. It's your main searcher and your main uh, draw power. He's a staple of the deck. I would, I would suggest at least, from my experience, run no less than three of them. Next, uh, Lilith, the L Lady of Lament. <laughs> she lets you get out. Let's lets you get out your uh, normal trap cards. My cards. The fact that she has her life points is negligible because you're never going to attack with her. You're going to mainly be tributing with her to uh, get out your cards, set up your set up your board. Though I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't help that she's a level three because that ruins the level four engine. But oh well. Enough said with her. I'll play with her more and see if I can't figure out. Okay, that's it for the new cards. Now I run, I run cards that you don't wouldn't see anymore, and or other decks because, but they actually work quite well because, unlike most people, I'm not a meta zombie, so I run things that are not meta. Ha 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 ha, ha ha. So first up, I run three battle fader. Ah. Uh, it needs no explanation. Should know what it does. 
Next up, I run three Vujam, the cubic seed. I yes, I know. Vujam and then outside of a cubic lord deck. What are you thinking? This guy is a fiend. He can't be destroyed by battle, and he, uh, he negates your monster's your opponent's monster's effects. Voila! This guy, this thing is useful and more than just uh, cubic lord decks. This guy is splashable on just about any uh, any deck that can utilize his ability. Heck, heck with his ability, uh, to become a to become a, a continuous spell card, you can play him in uh, Crystal Beasts. All things considered, which is interesting because the Crystal Beast Haman deck is what makes that deck shine. Mm hmm. So yeah, he is a definite good uh, card to card to play because no one expects expects how annoying that thing is. I've run two Phantom of Chaos it's because this lets me copy any monster in the graveyard, which is useful. I run two of my 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 favorite card in the game, Dark Necrophere. This is a card you almost never see because it's a this effect is a bit slow, but basically, Lee, when this card dies, used by battle, you get to to uh, take control of the monster that killed it at the end phase. Which, yes, it's slow by by by, by the day, it's uh, game standard. But think about it. That's a major uh, disruptor because suddenly your opponent doesn't have a have a monster on their on, on their board. Which can potentially disrupt their engine. Gen, gen on how they, on how their field works, which is actually pretty good because most everyone relies on uh, search engines and how things run and can counter inter, interact with each other. If you disrupt that, you can uh, kill your opponent. And get get an advantage that you would otherwise not know, not see. That and I'm willing to use any excuse to, excuse to play her. As she is my absolute favorite in the. She's my favorite card of all time. <laughs> Next up, the last monster. I will make it. I play Ravio, Lord of Phantasms. He's a. He's the third boss monster on the deck. He's the arguably uh, the, well, he's the second best of the of the sacred beasts. Uriah being the best one because he's a because a trap deck based around him is actually pretty scary. This guy fits perfectly uh, with this oh, perfectly uh, with this uh, deck because all the monsters are fiends. You can tribute uh, monsters. You can tribute monsters to get to get tokens. I, need, I don't need to finish that sentence, do I? No way. No way. I take that back. But you tribute him. You him. Whatever you place something, you get tokens. Yeah, he's a token generator. Plus, he can tribute said token to uh, get attack points or any other fiend monster for that matter. This guy is really good. Again, people don't play these old cards because they're not meta relevant. Meta doesn't mean squat. You play f unless you're you're going to YCS. You're playing for fun. Okay, next up for my spell cards, I want three. Th three layer of darkness. This is the main card in this deck that you tribute your opponent's monsters. Plus, it makes all the monsters on the field dark. And it's a token generator for the turn player, which is really useful. It's double. It's a bit double sided, but eh, that's negligible really, because you can just uh, tribute your opponent's tokens. <laughs> Next up. 
3, a lure of darkness. I don't need to explain. Next up, I rent 2, Fanger, the Fanning of Critias. Because, so, believe it or not, those uh, legendary dragons are actually pretty useful. No one sees them coming, and they're, and they're a bit tricky uh, to deal with if you know how to use them right. Next up, I have I run two part of Aqua's zip in this because because this deck uh, tends to be a bit banish heavy, and this lets you get banish cards back and draw a card. <laughs> and finally, I play Twin Twist. I play one copy of Twin Twisters because back row because if you don't have back row removal, you're dead. And next for my. Uh, for my trap cards, I run one of each of the virus cards because uh, that's the fun bit, 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 bit of this deck. Because mainly you're using your uh, layer of darkness to get these things off, and it is fun playing with your opponent's deck. It really is. After all. Common cold killed the killed the Martians. And then I play play <clears throat> Ring Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction, and the uh, Crush Card Virus for my uh, legendary uh, pair off, pair off with my uh, Fang the Fang Critias. Plus, Mirror Force, I don't need to explain Mirror Force, I Ring of Destruction is a, burn, is a neat burn card when you can get it off. Alright. Next up, my extra deck. I have the deck, I have the Legendary Dragon cards, the Destruction Dragon, Mirror Force Dragon, and Doom Virus Dragon. This is the newest card, and I haven't actually played with it yet, but from, from what it reads, it should be fun to play with. Mirror Force uh, Dragon is a field nuke, and Doom Dr Virus Dragon uh, has Dragon is the original, original uh, crush card virus, so... Yeah, they are pr their effects are pretty powerful. Cool. And really fun to play... Um, really uh, be fun for your opponent to get around. Next, I run three Dark Darker Rebellion XYZ Dragon because this card's annoying. And it's fun. Helps your opponent gets over any monster, any opponent, any of your opponent's monster, and it's a permanent power up. It's, it's really good. <clears throat> and it's a generic rank, rank four. You can never get bad with those. Then I get the Tornado Dragon because for back row removal. And then number 70, Malevolent Sin, because that's just a good that's just a good generic uh, rank four. And it, and it lets you break your opponent's board for a turn. And powers the stuff up. And last but not least, my number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. For, I haven't used this card in a while, so I forget what it does, but it's a good uh, rank 8, and it's worth it. Right, rank 8. And it's, and it's just a good rat, rat about card, because I have about 4 rank eight, level 8s in this deck. And then for my side deck, I run another Mirror, run mirror Force. I have a Recurring Nightmare, which is the new card that came out. I run a Counter Gate and a Fiendish Chain. And then a Darkness Neosphere. This is really good, good, good side in, side in. If you're worried about your opponent getting rid of your uh, your trap cards, because this lets you get it back in your hand, and, and it's a boss monster in and of itself. He he he. Plus, this artwork is really cool. It's cut, it almost looks like that uh, change of heart in a monster form. Who knew uh, Bakura was a uh, was such a diva. <laughs> well, anyway, that's my uh, layer of darkness deck. 
like I said, if you have any ideas on how to improve this deck, you can leave it in the comments section below. We appreciate your your opinions, ins and your opinions, and yeah. And with that, that so that's all for now. Subscribe and join the Epic Nation. We have cookies.